Brother Malik, it's so great to see you again, brother. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yes, oh yes. Oh my God, this is amazing. The nice gloves. Okay, so this is amazing. I mean, we look out our window and all of a sudden we're like, what is going on right, over there? Right, like, right. please tell us what's going, tell me what's going on here. So for the first beautiful. time ever, I'm unveiling, this is a black totem of our four ancestors of the north, of the south, of the east, and the west. These are our ancient ancestors that represent our spiritual growth and spiritual travels. And then there's the ancestors that we know of. And there's the four ancestors, as they say, are, as the others would say, is forefathers. We say our four ancestors, which is our, our two mothers and our two fathers. Oh, we need this. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Talk like about a cornerstone. As we come down here, let's come on. These are the two figures I did this morning, and I'm going to add the color to them. Um, and the statues are going to be pieces of the American flag. Oh, pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah pieces huh? of the American flag, which is utilized as a, as a sack, as a satchel. So they will carry they their things. Carry, um, yes. oh. On their journey. Yeah, yeah. And carrying the journey forward for us. Exactly. Right? Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> yes, so, I hear you. I hear you. Clear. Very clear. <laughs> so, so, with that being said, you know, we have the dawn and the dawn of change in our culture is what we always have to be prepared for the dawn of change. Because that dawn of change will allow us to keep connected to our young. But when we're not prepared for our dawn of change, our, our, our young slips through our fingers. Right, and they're left going to put their own devices yeah, and yeah. we know what happens then. So we are, okay. we are the mediators of the ancient ancestors and our young. We mediate the connection between the two and as they become an adult, they become adults in the process. In the process. Being guided by... I have yes. <laughs> Where did this building come from? It used to be a bank, but do we own this building? What's up with this building? So, this building in 1925, in 1925, this building was the Bank of Italy. The Bank of Italy, uh -huh. and then it became the Bank of America. Interesting, it's the Bank of Italy, although the okay, we'll, we'll, we'll and, go into uh, that. We'll go you, into that some as, other time. As you look up, there's these small little dolls. I took photos of them before I painted over them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, but uh, it says the Bank of of Italy, uh, Bank of Italy in California, or of California. Wow, wow. When uh, our ancestors yes. were here yes. long before. Yes, and the interesting time. thing is, when it says the Bank of Italy, it has this huge ship. It doesn't have people. It has a ship. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let's get it in. We're, 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 I'm glad we're transforming yeah, this. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Here is the big, you know, um, this is when they say, you know, the, uh, Habitable chaos, right? <laughs> uh, so here's our mixes of paint, and then there's paint that I actually mixed myself to actually pull together the design. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. so you see these colors, this color is mixed. I mixed this color here for the ground. So rich. And the ground, as you walk past the ground, you're actually walking past the markings of children. All of the children came in, added little markings. I showed them the technique of adding markings in. Ooh. Number two, they also had added the letter inside of that, which is actually coming in from that as well. So they had the little letters in their names. Ooh. They have something. They was able to take a photo to show, here's my letter. Here's something that belongs to me. Ownership is just so powerful. And that's why I would love to have, you know, all the children that go to school in Bayview Hunters Point 
to be here, you know, to really be a part of history being made. It's far too much where we have so much going on in our lives where we can't be there during the history making when something's really effective is about to happen for us. So that's that. All this around, I have the, the, the village keeper, Hogan. Yes. He, uh, he can't hear me asking me for years. He wanted a suit with paint on it because he loved how I show up. Oh, man. And that brother can dress. So yeah, I yeah. have this is from so He said he wants to walk in the airport with my stuff on. Oh. So <laughs> That's where everyone gets discovered. Right, yeah. right, right. So... He said, uh, so I, these are things I created. So when you see this it, image here, kufi, I love it. when you see this image here, this represents the head guard, right? What Euro Europeans may call a crown, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? But this is not in the sense of aristocracy. This is in the sense of spiritual and cultural existence, uh, how we actually view ourselves. So, because we often think Seriously. about kings and queens, and then the concept of kings and queens is always somebody on top and somebody on the bottom. Oh, right, yeah. right, and with so, stolen, hoarded wealth. And, yes, yeah. yes, uh -huh. yes, just hoarders, yeah. right? Basically, just hoarders, and yeah. sorry, and genociders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the hoard. That's the hoarding. Yeah, the hoarding the, of life. And the hoarding of life yeah. creates death. Yeah, absolutely. So, with that being said, okay, yes, but we're again, right? look at this pathway, <laughs> all dressed up from head to toe, literally. Wow, is he going to be in this tomorrow too? Is he gonna I believe so, because okay. I had to give it to him today. So okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to save it for the airport or anything. Okay, right. All right. Well, somebody's got to take a picture of it when he yeah. gets in it for sure. Oh, right, this is beautiful. Right. And so, this space inside here, now you are kind of creating this. Skin yes, this, yes. This so this is to remind whoever's going to do anything in here that the skin of this, the shell of it, is what it's about. If we see the shell of a chicken egg, then we expect the chick to be born, mm -hmm. to grow into a chicken. Absolutely. <laughs> We're not like chickens, but, no, but, but they, they do come home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> right? So the idea of black power is really about this, this uh, immense amount of passion and love. And that's why uh, black power came under, con came under uh, a lot of scrutiny from others and even us because the concept of black and its English tonality. Mm, right, See, so and true. we get mixed up into what English says about black versus what the ancients say about black right. you see so so, so, so what we do is we go into we get so caught up into the modern written word that we lose the connection of the ancients voice on the concept of black so we get caught up into this distraction on well they're witches and they're devils and they're this and they're that and they're that and the concept of black has nothing to do with that nothing. it's really a perversion of black because you know when we you know when you get your doctorate degree you have your black cap your black yeah. gown and come on the, you become a judge the you birth have a black of, cap. the birthplace yeah. of the universe is at the black hole yeah 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 so Absolutely. come on let's just be so, real here so, so but the <laughs> yeah, thing is exactly. is that we get caught up into the english in the english we get caught up into the semantics Absolutely. and we play this we just get caught up in the road of semantics and being able to say hey i know the english language and it, that doesn't mount us to anywhere because we should know our own language. That's so. I, I, I knew you were going right there because that's yeah. we have had to express ourselves through the oppressor's language. Yes. You know, through a language that seeks to diminish yes. and can villainize yes. and negate, yes. you know, who yes. we are. And it's, it's interesting that you're saying that too because it reminds me of um, re, um, reading the introduction uh, by... Jean Genet, I think he is. He's a French of, uh, but he, okay, so he did the introduction to George Jackson's book, um, Soledad, uh, Soledad, Soledad Brothers. Brothers. Yes. yes, and one of the things that he said was, and I'm not going to be able to articulate it the way that he articulated, but it, the essence of it was exactly what you're talking about, how, how he noticed that George Jackson was having to tell this story through a language that seeked to 
yeah. diminish and Absolutely. and um, take down mm -hmm. what it is that he was experiencing. Right. So how difficult it must be, but mm -hmm. also to give him such major honor Absolutely. for being able to articulate right. through, through a language that wasn't his. That wasn't his. It's, oh. still, it's still a shackled tongue. I per see, I, I see the poet, thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's still <laughs> a shackled just, yes. tongue. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at our best, it's still a shackled tongue. Absolutely. And even, you know, my great mother, you know, Toni Morrison, mm. you know, she did well by helping us to vibrate higher in the language than ever anyone has been able to vibrate into. However, it's still the English language. <laughs> and, but even the roots of the English language goes back into our ancient language. However, <laughs> the language we're dealing with right now yeah. is really dealing with this mindset of speaking this idea of what correct is or such thing as correct English. But you know, there's this double speaking when it comes to English that's that's really um, gets our we lose our spirit in the process of it. So with all of that being said, you know, the, the, this is really you know where I unveil the black totem. And this is a totem really about us all coming together as a people to really show, not them, but ourselves, right? Yes. Show ourselves, meaning our children, who hasn't seen it yet, what it really feels like to have a village together because it takes a village. It didn't say to take a family. It says it takes a village to raise a child. Yes, so that being yes. said, I'm going to go out and make the last stroke so I can start coloring <laughs> yes. and finishing up tonight. So exciting. Oh yes. my God. And it's perfect because, yeah, I, I love that this unveiling is happening um, tomorrow because yes. then on Saturday there is the block party for that, the controversial right. community center there, exactly. which we are also going to do our and, best to do. And they purchased, uh, they purchased artwork from me there. Yes. And I have a piece in it called On the Move. Okay, I because I saw your work, but I didn't see the name of it. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So it's called yes. On the Move, and it's all children. And these are all the children that would be had the move organization had not been moved on. Mm. So really, I put On the Move, and you see kids, and they say, well, why is it called On the Move? Then I can talk about the move organization. Yes! Ta-da! <laughs>